Hello, I am Chandler Klebs, and what I'm doing in this video is something totally new that I've never done before. Now, here's the brilliant part. Now, as some of you may know if you've been watching my YouTube channel, I've been using open broadcaster software to record videos of my screen and my camera at the same time. So here's what's cool about it is what you see here is that you see you see my camera here. You see that um, and I can move my face around. So I can move I can move my camera vision to the left and I can move it to the right. So it's nice to be able to just move things around like that. But what you also see here is Inkscape. I just updated to the latest version of Inkscape. I was using version 0, 0.48 um, point four and right now um, this I'm using um, let's see what version did I just upgrade to let's see I'm going to see about Inkscape okay this is Inkscape 0 0.92 now Inkscape <clears throat> for those who don't know is like the art program if you don't want to pay any money and you want a free open source art program, Inkscape is that program for you. And I'm going to show you my favorite type of thing. I'm going to show you how to draw a chessboard. Now, um, he, this is, looks just slightly different than, than the previous version, but most of it's the same. And I'm going to show you the basics. Now, first thing first, you what I like to do is I go to document properties and I like to set the size in pixels of my picture and I like to do 720 and the reason I like to do 720 is because so many things are divisible by 720 and what I did there is I pressed 5 so that you can see the whole view see cuz you can zoom to different levels by 1 2 3 4 5 6 you know I can set different views but Five is the best because not, since the height and width are, are both 720, um, then you should see, see a square. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to remove the border shadow because that, that doesn't look right to me. Now, I'm going to show you something. What we're going to do is we're going to save this drawing. Um, let's see. I'm going to just... Um, for, for now, I'm just going to save it as drawing.svg. I'm just going to save it as a file named drawing.svg. That's like the default name. Now, there's a variety of things you can do with this program. You can, you can draw circles and ovals, fun stuff like that. You can draw weird cube-like thingies, and I don't really know how that works. You can even do regular polygons and you can set how many corners triangle square pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon all that fun stuff and then there's the, your average rectangles now rectangles are, are going to be what i'm going to use in this now i have my color set up now these are customized colors that i set up i can use any of these 15 colors there's 12 rainbow colors and there's medium gray black and white and these are all very important um but what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to show you the very, very basics of how this works. Okay, and I'm going to draw a chessboard, just your typical chessboard, and I'm going to show you how this works. Now, um, let me see. I'm trying to see because I'm trying to see the background because the, the settings, yeah, background color. Oh, there's a checkerboard background. Oh, now that's freaky, a checkerboard background. Okay, yeah, but that wasn't in the previous version of Inkscape. Here's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to, let's do cyan. Let's do a bizarre thing where we have green and blue set at max, and then we have cyan as our background color, which is a weird looking color, okay? But that'll work, and see, I press control to save, save my progress. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Since um, square, uh, squares are a type of rectangle, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the rectangle tool. And then check this out. It's selected, and it has a fill, and it has a stroke. Now here's the deal. I'll show you the stroke can be modified. So a fixed stroke has an orange border around it. However, for chessboards, you don't want a stroke. You just want a fill. 
And so I've removed the stroke, we have a fill, I can set it to any of these colors. So you can use any color you like, but for this example we're going to do black and white. So now the reason 720 pixels is important is because it's, a, it's divisible by 8. 90 pixels goes into 720 pixels exactly 8 times. So here's what I do. I have this square selected with a select tool. And I'm going to, um, let's see, right now, here's the deal. I'm going to set its width to 90, and I'm going to set its height to 90. No, wait a minute. Now, this is strange. It's supposed to be, okay, something is not right here. Oh, I see how it works. The, it's using... Se Oh, millimeters. I only work in pixels because everything's really pixels deep down. Sorry, I didn't really. I, I, I had it set to pixels in the previous version, but after I upgraded, it really screwed me up. Wish I had known that before I started recording this video. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start over. I'm going to do it's now this since the drawing area is is 720 by 720 pixels i'm good then this square needs to be 90 pixels in both its width width and height okay and there's a number of cool features here there's the grid um there's the show grid feature what i did there is i used the the pound key or whatever tic-tac-toe sign to show the grid and the grid is nice because it lets um, it lets you select things. And see, this this is snapping. Inkscape has snapping features, which makes it cool. So, see, it with with nothing selected, it doesn't snap. But when this is selected, and this is selected, see how this works. Um, then it snaps. So I want to get this started at the top left corner of the screen and why does it keep setting the display thing to into uh, millimeters I do not use millimeters okay so now I'm gonna remove the grid now that we have this here and see here's the deal I can move it around but then I can play place bleh. I can't even talk okay this is funny people this is not going for some reason it keeps setting um, up the the measuring unit to be millimeters and I need to change that that's one of those things when you upgrade to a new version of of a program sometimes things need to be set let's see there's got to be a way to change the um, let's see what why is the oh man I have no idea why it's doing that. Okay, okay, I'm gonna ignore that for now because it's it's supposed to be 90 pixels even though it keeps changing to millimeters. That's annoying. Okay, so what I'm gonna do once we have our square, which is one eighth um, the size, eight of these can fit this direction and this direction. Okay, so I'm going to press Control D and duplicate it, and see they automatically snap. And then I'm gonna show you something else. Now I'm going to make this one white and I'm going to place it. See, I can snap it to any corner. I'm going to snap it to here and then duplicate that one and snap it to here. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to do control A, select all, um, all four of these and then I'm going to duplicate them. See, and all I do, basically I duplicate them each time and do that. Then I select all of those. Then I put that there, that there, that there. Okay, that's good. As you see, I now have a chessboard. This is a chessboard. I'm going to save this. And see, when you have a drawing that you want to save, uh, you just you save the file, but you can also export it. So you can export it as a as a PNG image. So I'll just export that. So then. Because not everybody has a program that reads SVG, but they can read P PNG files, you know, portable network graphics. So that is how you draw a chessboard.
it's very simple, 8x8 chessboard and Inkscape. It, and it's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it, but I had the whole millimeter pixel thing going wrong. I still don't know what's up with that. But anyway, yeah, um, and here's the cool part. Any single one of these particular squares can be moved. So if I want to make this square orange or I want to make it green, I can totally do that. And, okay, yeah, see, and I'm just going to control Z. So anyway, that is how you draw a chessboard in Inkscape. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Inkscape is a great program for anybody just looking to do some basic art. If you want to do some triangles or other polygons or rectangles and draw a chessboard, you can do amazing stuff. So that's all I have to say in this video for now. Hope you've enjoyed this, this little Inkscape chessboard tutorial. Bye.